This video covers information on how to make, maintain and use a cold chain to keep fish fresh. A cold chain is a series of actions to maintain fresh fish, from catch to consumption. Creating a cold chain can be a straightforward and easy task to complete. Using a cold chain will help you keep your fish fresh. This means it will taste and look good and won't make people sick. In this video, we will start our cold chain using an ice slurry. You will need to have the following items. A clean cooler. Make sure it is sturdy, tough and able to tightly close. This keeps the slurry cold and stops dust, insects and other unwanted things from getting in. Ice. Preferably shaved ice or bagged cube ice. Avoid using large blocks of ice clean water, a thermometer, and a temperature data sheet. Prepare the cooler by washing, rinsing, and sanitizing the interior surfaces. This is important to remove any germs or spills. To make the slurry, you will need three buckets of ice and one bucket of clean water. Place the ice and water in the cooler. You may need to repeat this process until it is three quarters full. Check the temperature of the slurry. This should read between two and minus two degrees. You can now begin fishing. Fishing can be very busy, especially when lots of fish are caught at the same time. However, it is important to make sure the fish are kept fresh. Make sure every fish is clean by washing off any sand, mud, weed or blood. As you place your catch in the slurry, record the amount of each type of fish in your logbook. Make sure the fish are fully submerged in the slurry. Remember, keep the lid closed. This helps keep the temperature cold. It's important to check the temperature of the slurry and the fish throughout the day. A temperature data sheet will help you keep track of the temperature every hour. To check the temperature of the slurry, insert the thermometer into the water and leave it there for 30 seconds to get an accurate reading. If the temperature is above 2 degrees, add some more ice, mix the slurry and recheck the temperature. To check the temperature of the fish, first select one fish to track its temperature. Tie a piece of string around the tail so you can find it again. Insert a sanitized thermometer into the anal hole and hold it there for 30 seconds. Then clean and sanitize the thermometer. Record the temperatures on the data sheet. Place the fish back into the slurry. Continue to check the temperature of the same fish throughout the day. Maintaining the cold chain is just as important when you've finished fishing. The amount of time a fish will stay fresh is determined by how it was treated, the temperature it's stored at, and if it's been processed. You need to weigh your catch and the amount sold and record this in your logbook. Weighing and labelling your catch also helps you know what it is, when it was caught, and how long it's been stored. Fish need to be stored correctly to stay fresh. Storing fish in a slurry or in a cool room at less than 4 degrees is a good way to store fish for a few days. Soldier stacking is a good way to store whole fish for transport or for storage in a cool room. To soldier stack, Place a thick layer of ice along the bottom of the cooler. Place cold fish from a slurry in a tidy layer across the ice, adding ice to cover the fish as you work. Fish should be stacked evenly to allow the ice to keep them nice and cold. Cover the fish with a good layer of ice and then start placing another layer of fish. Keep adding layers of fish and ice until you've stored all your fish or filled the cooler. Place the cooler in a cold room. A good quality cooler will keep the ice and fish cold and fresh for several days. Fillets need to be either frozen or stored in a refrigerator. Place fillets in Ziploc bags, removing as much air as possible, or wrap in cling film. Fresh fillets do not stay fresh for as long as whole fish and need to be sold within a couple of days or frozen. Here are some signs that your fish is losing its freshness. The eyes are cloudy, the gills become pale, and there is a bad smell. Fish that have all these signs need to be disposed of. 
As a fisherman, you need to make sure you sell fish that doesn't make people sick and you follow the food safety rules. Remember, a cold chain is a set of steps you use to make sure your fish is fresh. Having a good cold chain is very important for your business and needs to be used at all times. It makes sure your customers always get fresh fish and no one gets sick. For more information on how to process your fish, refer to the fish processing video found in this series.